What is the crack lads and welcome back to another squad builder video. This time we're going to be taking a look at a squad for around 350,000 GP. A lot of people have been asking me for this. A lot of newcomers downloading the game looking to, to build a squad that can compete. I mean I know there's a lot of god squads there but this is a really fun squad to try out. It's really cheap. There's some really good beasts on it as well that you can train up for max potential and we're going to kick off. So starting us off we've got the manager uh, Atsuki from Japan. 49 years of age. He's 60 65 in quick counter he's also got the young players match experience bonus of 100% for any player that's under the age of 24 so on this squad of 11 players we're going to have nine of those that will get this boost the other two players are just beasts I can't leave them off they're too good for their value so we're going to be getting the boost with nine of the players and starting with the font so 22 years of age this goalkeeper is 18,000 GP there are other options there for goalkeepers but for under 20,000 you have uh, Bayandir as well I think he plays for one of the Turkish teams he features in one of the other videos I think it's Fenerbahce if I do remember correctly he features in one of the other videos but La Font, kind of a bit of a gem in Pez down throughout the years with Master League and whatever 196 CM he's an absolute beast low punt long throw penalty saver captaincy so he can lead from the back and he's 22 so he fits in with the squad as well next up we've got a fellow 22 year old Winsdal from AZ in the Eredivisie over in Holland Netherlands so he's got this guy I mean is the perfect left back and um, a shout out to Alistair he was the one that actually put me onto him 26,000 GP, 75 speed, 76 acceleration, 73 low pass, and he's got 72 stamina. He's got, I think, 39 levels that he can go up or even more. So this guy is going to be an absolute unit once you train him up fully. Now we've got Mabu. So Mabu is 26 years of age. He's obviously over the limit for, you know, getting the squad boost with the manager, with the affinity. But he's too good just to, you know, he's too good to leave on just because of that. There isn't a player under 24 better than him. So it does kind of, you know, it kind of circumvents that in, in a way. 20,000 GP, the Swiss man plays for Wolfsburg. Look at the player skills. I feature this guy in pretty much every video I've done. He's been in at 83 speed, 80 acceleration. He is an absolute unit. Think, speaking of units, we've got Konate. So obviously the Liverpool centre back. He's only 22 years of age. He's a really, really good player. You can see there he's got unwavering form. So he's going to be up in the player arrows more often than not with a high player arrow. He's got all the skills that you could want. And as I said, I always talk about having a player as a centre back. You have your two centre backs. You've one really, really fast mobile centre back, which we'll get to in a second. And then you have somebody like Kanate, just an absolute beast in the air, outright defender. And we're going to take a look at his stats in a little bit more detail here, as you can see. We're not going to want to focus too much on his speed. It is only 63 overall here. We can boost that up, obviously, to be able to be the best that it can be. But, you know, we want to focus on what he's good at. You know, a lot of these players, you need to just kind of increase what their stats are. You don't need to increase his speed too much because we are going to be getting our fast, mobile, versatile center back to partner him. And as I said, this guy is an absolute unit. He's a monster in the back. He's a monster under the high ball. 96 physical contact is all you need to know about this guy ball winning aggression it's really really high he's also got unwavering form as i mentioned now make sure to keep a bit for his quick counter as well it is 71 but i think adding on one there could be beneficial as well now we're going to have his partner in crime in the center backs timber eighteen thousand gp this guy is probably one of the most op players in the game he's he's like everyone has him literally everybody has him you'll see him on my main uh, dream team chronicle series this guy is just a real deal. He's 18,000 GP, as I mentioned. He's got all the player skills that you could possibly want. And you look at that speed, right? So you want to be boosting Timber up to about mid, like a mid-85 speed and like 82, 83 acceleration to pair him with Kanate. Now, this guy, Kamara, this guy is one of my favorite players that I've used in my club last year. There was a featured edition of him last year. 22 years of age, so he fits in again with that squad boost. Anchorman, which is always nice. He can play CB as well. And as you can see there, from his card 39 levels to go this guy turns into an absolute rock he's an absolute unit and there's a couple of french guys which you'll see that join him in midfield to make it an all french party but th this guy is one of the best in the business for the price speaking of best in the business we've got camavinga fresh off his triumph last night where he came on and was an absolute unit against uh man city 
Kamavinga, 43,000 GP, 19 years of age. His form is standard, just to have a quick look at that. But his player stats and everything else, he can go up to 45 levels. Bellingham, if you do have a couple of other, you know, maybe 10 more thousand, Bellingham is a massive upgrade. Well, not a massive upgrade, but he's a he's a very good player that you could have as well. But if you go in and look at Kamavinga's actual stats and what he can potentially max out at and train at, what you're going to notice here, right, is that he's got his speed and his dribbling are probably the lowest that you would probably be looking at. They're kind of the lowest that he'll be he'll be having that you need to boost up, right? I would be boosting up his speed, and I want this guy playing as our box to box. You know, you let Kamara with this squad, you let Kamara just in the hole, you know, in the pocket. You put anchoring on him and leave him as an anchor man just to break up the play. Kamavinga is going to be passing it forward. He's going to be dribbling it forward. He's going to be taking it forward. He's going to be spreading it out to the wings. He's going to be hitting that killer pass through the middle because we're not playing an AMF with this formation. So he is unbelievable. You look at his stats there, incredible. Eze, Eze. Whatever way you want to pronounce it, I'm not too sure. But this guy is an absolute gem of a find, right? 23 years of age. He's a left-footed player, or right-footed left midfielder, I should say. He can play anywhere. He can play AMF. He can play left wing. He can play striker. He's got unwavering form. And for a player this cheap, right, with these stats, it's 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 a bargain buy, really. Like, you look at his speed, his acceleration. He's going to be cutting in from the left unbelievably well for you if you play that wing play now speaking of speaking of wingers right there's a lot of wingers out there that have insane stats and they've got really fast speed or they've got really good dribbling there's very few that have a mixture of both for under fifty thousand. and doku or doku is one of those players he is definitely a hidden gem although a lot of people are using him now i see a couple of the french youtubers using him like le poulon shout out to him but there is a lot, a lot to like about Doku here. He is an absolute unit. We'll get into it in a second as to what he can be trained into, right? So what you're going to want to look at when you're maxing out players, and this is just a simulation. You'll have to do it, obviously, in-game yourself. I always pump up, you know, for the wingers, I'd be pumping up into the 90 for acceleration, take him up as high. Speed isn't as important because, obviously, you're either going to get past the player or you're going to be closed down. It's one or the other and pass and move. It's the acceleration. It's what you really want to focus on here, but it is negligible. You know what I mean? There's not going to be too much of a difference. So for this guy, we're going to be making him into a dribble, a dribble-centric player. Now, if you look at his quick counter um play style down at the bottom right we are going to probably need to pump that up into the 91 area so we need three points for that so that kind of stops him from you know being like in the 90s with the speed there if you want to do that which i would recommend but for that price he's a he's a beast daka daka has featured a lot in my videos he's 23 years of age i think if you haven't packed romario and you can't afford obviously mbappe or any of the top 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 class players that are super super fast Daka, when he's maxed out, is like a mini Romario. I mean, he's just unbelievable. He's also got super sub, so you can bring him on if if you want from the bench. If you're looking and you have a god squad. But this guy is the real deal. He's a goal poacher as well. And similarly with the center backs, where you need one tall, one small, you do have to have one tall, one small, I think, playing 4-2-2-2 because you need somebody to be a target man. And Daka is obviously going to be cutting in from the side or cutting in behind Unachu. Anuachu, and he's going to be trying to mop up the goals and you know making the true balls and, and sprints and all that but this guy is just the ultimate target man he's just so good he's so tall he'll probably be the tallest player on the pitch anytime you come up against anybody and for thirty two thousand gp he comes in under budget although he is 27 so he's over the manager boost as well so that is something to keep in in mind so lads that is it for our three hundred and fifty thousand gp squad i hope my maths are correct or else this video will be a bust but uh it should be fairly accurate there 338,200 so say for about 340,000 gp you know which is basically you get 250 i think when you sign up or when you log in to a brand new profile if you're a newcomer over and then you obviously can play a couple of the events it's very easy to get about 350 to 400,000 gp that is a very solid squad right i know the team strength isn't massively high at that but if you train up these guys if you play about 20 games and train up these guys effectively and use all your trainer boosts from winning the competitions and taking part in the events and stuff and the login bonuses, you're going to turn this team into an absolute unit of a team. Now, I know there's a lot of God squads out there. I will be doing another 500,000 GP, 750,000 GP, and a 1 million GP for a God squad. Squad builders as well. A lot of people asking me where they should put their big GP. But yeah, for this, this is a really nice kind of starter budget guide for a team that will dominate if you train them correctly and you are good at the game. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that one, guys. I will be back with another video quite soon. Have a good weekend. Peace.